Hey everyone, Bayana here from Bayana.com and for today's video, I'm warning you, it's going to be a little controversial because we are talking about the three chairs you shouldn't buy. Now before I get into the contents of the video, let me just talk a little bit about who this video is for. If you love decorating, you love interior design, and you're looking to get out of your cookie cutter style, this video is for you. So the first chair you should never buy is what I call the ugly office chair. Now this is something that you literally would just go buy at the office supply store. It's basic, there's nothing special about it, probably on the cheap side in terms of quality, and the biggest sort of design crime is that it has a clunky footprint. Let's say you love a rustic elegant interior and you have an old antique desk. If you put this chair with that desk, there's going to be a mismatch in terms of proportion. It's completely utilitarian. It's not really focusing on clean lines that would be attractive to a wide variety of styles. It's just too basic. So an alternative desk chair that looks good with every style that I happen to personally love is the Eames management chair. I love this chair because it's so universal and sleek. And just in case you're wondering, mid-century furniture is some of the most comfortable furniture you will ever find out there. It takes up a lighter footprint, so it's more sculptural and more delicate and beautiful. Can you see the difference? in these two chairs. Now, if you get this chair, it's modern, but if you want to pair that with your desk and your elegant, you know, rustic interiors, it's going to work. If you have a transitional style, it's going to work. Mid-century, bohemian, it's a universal chair that seems to just work on a lot of different levels. You could still sell it and get almost all of your money back because people that understand design want to buy this chair. The second chair that I recommend you never buy, a little controversial, is the Papazon chair. All right, I get it. This chair can actually be cool if done in the right environment, and I think that it fits in very well with a bohemian or a modern eclectic style. However, if you are a person who is looking to get out of your own cookie cutter style upgrade, I would not start with this chair. If you place this in a regular space that has not really been decorated with carpet, just kind of the basic stuff that comes along with it, and, and haven't like purposely started like curating a look, it can look too basic. This is also, I feel like, the most common piece of furniture that you constantly see on Craigslist for like 40 bucks. Like at any given time, there's like 50 of them for sale. That should tell you something. A lot of people buy this chair because they want comfort and it's kind of cool and also young. It comes off a little bit young, maybe like college. Um, I just wouldn't start with this. But just in case you love the Papazon chair, I'm going to insert this image, which definitely shows that it can be styled if you create the entire environment for that. If you still love this look, but really want to go bold, really want to go designer and do something really cool, there's this modern version of the Papazon chair. Sure, it's not going to be like super cheap $100, but it does actually look really, really cool and it's something that you could for sure resell. And then the last chair that you should never buy is the kind of like basic wooden framed glider rocking chair. Now, I get it, glider rocking chair, very great in the nursery, just people comfort, I totally got you. However, there's different versions of this chair that can be stylish, and then there are other versions not so stylish. I tend to find that pine wood in interiors when not done purposely doesn't necessarily look that chic. It's just not going to fit in as compatible with the more modern furniture that's out there that people are, that like design tend to gravitate towards. There are a lot of stylish alternatives for the glider rocking chair. I love the upholstered version. I feel like there is a lot more options available out there now that are designer friendly than the traditional bare to the bones wooden frame with a very kind of like beige or brown cover. I love saving money just like everybody else, but buying something just because of the price and it's not really what you want or not really the style, to me, is actually just wasting money. So I hope the video was helpful and I hope it wasn't um, 
offensive to anyone. If it was, I apologize. It's definitely not my intention of making the video. If you feel like I missed any other chairs that are worth mentioning, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. I am having a free challenge coming up at the end of the month. It's called the It Girl Challenge. And if you're interested in leveling up your personal style and your interiors, I'd love for you to join me. It's completely free. And the link for that is in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.